Okay, so now I'm going to do the stone wall exercise in the stacks and cues lesson of Codility. Okay, you're going to build a stone wall. The wall should be straight and n meters long and its thickness should be constant. However, it should have different heights in different places. The height of the wall is specified by an array H of n positive integers. H i is the height of the wall from i to i plus 1 meters to the right of its left end. In particular, H 0 is the height of the wall's left end and H n minus 1 is the height of the wall at the right end. The wall should be built of cuboid stone blocks, that is, all sides of such blocks are rectangular. Your task is to compute the minimum number of blocks needed to build the wall. Write a function that given the array h of n positive integers specifying the height of the wall returns the minimum number of blocks needed to build it. Okay, so in this example we have nine different heights and here is the uh, diagram of the wall. We have eight, eight, five, seven, nine, eight, seven, four and eight and we need to work at how many of these blocks that we can build we, we how many of these blocks we need to build the wall so write an efficient algorithm for n being an integer within the range of one to one hundred thousand so that is the width of this wall and each element of the array h is a value within the range one to one billion Okay, so I think the way to go about doing this is uh, when we see a height, we'll put that height on the stack. And if we see another height, if it's the if it's already on the stack, we will we don't need we've already got this block. If what's on the stack is higher, we can remove it because that's that block is never going to be useful again on the right because we've reduced the height. However, if it's lower, if the height is different, as in this case, we'll just put a new block on the stock on the stack and go on like that. So in this example, we see eight, we'll put it on the stack and we'll count one block. We see eight again, we'll look on the stack and we'll see that there's eight already there. So we'll just leave it and we've still counted one block. We see five, we look on the stack and see eight and remove it because it's higher. And we we'll look on the stack again, there's nothing there. So we'll just add the five to the stack and we're now on block two. Then we'll add, we see seven next. We'll look on the stack, there's a five, we'll leave it because it's lower, but we'll add seven on the stack and count another block and so on. So here we count another block, then we go down, we'll remove this one from the stack and count another block. We go down again, look on the stack and find this block so we won't count it. Then at this point we'll remove both of these from the stack and add one and then here is another block that we'll add to the stack and then the stack should well we should have counted seven blocks so let's have a go at doing that and the example method or the example is 88579 i'll just put that in Okay, so I've just put the uh, example in there, 885-798-748 and I'm just going to loop through each value in the H array. I'm going to create a stack.
now uh, what did I say I wanted to do when I see a height I'm going to look on the stack and if it's the same I'm going to do nothing if what's on the stack or while what's on the stack is higher I'm going to remove it and if it's not the same I'm going to add an extra block so I'm going to say wow stack well not stack is empty because I don't want to check um, the value on there if it's empty well not stack is empty and stack.peak Want to create a stack of integers is greater than H. Stack dot pop. Okay, so there I'm saying while there's there's something on the stack which is higher than our current hike height, take it off. And then if not stack is empty and stack dot peak equals H, then we've already got this block and we don't want to do anything else. We want to put on the stack the current height and counter block so int block count equals zero block count plus plus is that it at the end we return block count okay so I think I'm going to debug through that And I'll put the picture up for you so you can visualize what's happening. Okay, so we have an empty stack and a block count zero. We see eight, we want to put it on the stack and count the block. This first bit will not go into there because the stack's empty. So that's right, we have eight on the stack. Then we see another eight this time we want this condition to be true so this is um, not true because we don't have anything higher this is true so we just loop round our stack still contains our eight we see a five we want to take off the eight and then we want to count our new block we see a seven we want to count our new block and now we have the five and the seven on the stack. We see a nine. We want to count our new block again and we have five, seven, nine on the block, on the stack. We see an eight, we want to remove the nine from the stack. Uh, and we want to count our new block for the eight. Now this is the interesting one, we see a seven. So we want to pop the eight off the stack, but now we've already got our block seven, so we don't want to count our new block. Then we see a four, so we want to pop seven off the stack and five off the stack and just count our four block. And finally we see an eight, so we want to just count our new block and we have seven blocks. And that's right. I think that that's a solution. Um, I'm not a hundred percent confident, but I'm confident enough to submit it. Well, you know, if it doesn't work, I can always go back and fix it. But I think that that's that's right. Um, I'm just going to double check corner cases n is an integer in the range of 1 to 100,000 well it doesn't matter how long this is it's going to be efficient because we're only going to loop through it once um, if it's just one um, definitely have one value 
if it's just one we'll just count the block and that would be fine um each element is within the range one to one billion i was just thinking then what if we had a block of zero height uh, but we are not going to encounter that so i think that's okay so i'm going to run the tests and it's worked there and i'm going to submit the task and see how it's done and 100 percent uh 14 minutes uh it took a bit of time to evaluate there so i think uh, it had large increasing decreasing large pyramid uh that would have been in a nice test to test popping things off the off the uh, stack large max uh, i'm sure that that would have been um up to 100 up to 20. I'm sure it's run some pretty large walls through there to make sure it can deal efficiently. Uh, but that's my solution to the stone wall exercise in Codility. Thanks for watching.